Okay, so we are now in the part of the series where we need to start thinking about class of control. So that means we need to be able to call people and we also need to be able to control who can call who. We're going to want some people who can just call internally. Just thinking about like a, a desk, um, you know, in the lobby where people can call uh, if they need to or um, controlling some people who can maybe only can call uh, internally and locally and then you're going to want some VIPs that can call internationally. There might be charges so you're definitely going to want to limit who can call where and we do that with um, class of control in partitions and calling search spaces. So in call manager that is found under call routing, class of control, partition, and calling search space. So we'll start with partitions. What is a partition? That sounds like kind of a fancy uh, word, but if you think about it, um, what does a partition do? It just it just divides things. It's just like a it's like a box. So um, we can divide our numbers into partitions. Or another way to think about it is we can create different boxes and we put numbers in those partitions. So for example. Um, we would want to put all of our internal four-digit numbers into one internal partition. So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so, you can go in here and click Find, and there are some preloaded partitions. Well, we are going to go ahead and add a new one. And I'm going to call this one Internal. And go ahead and click Save. Now I'm going to go back to our phone and the IP communicator. I deleted the directory number that we made in the previous video and now I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to go into add a new DN and let me just do 1001 and in the route partition I'm going to choose internal. And then I'll pause this and just put in a couple uh, basic settings. I just put in some dummy information, click save. And now we put one number into that box, 1001 into the internal partition. So here's my fancy documentation that will hopefully illustrate the point. I'm planning on making several boxes. So for box one, I already did it. There's a couple dummy numbers in here, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, 1001 and they're all in the internal box or partition. Now down the road I'm going to set up um, some partitions for outbound calling, long distance, and international. And I'm also going to add another one called VIP. And I created one called VIP seven, and, with, and I'm going to put um, 7777 in it later to um, illustrate um, how you can control who can call who. We'll make it so that only a certain call and search space can um, call the VIP numbers. Um, which brings me um, now to understanding call and search spaces. So scrolling down here, I, I made a little diagram in Notepad, super high tech, just showing you the different boxes that you can set up for the call and search spaces. So the calling search spaces are how you control who can call who. So let me just make one so that it's, uh, that it's clear for illustration purposes. I'll go back into call manager, back into class of control, and calling search spaces. I'll hit a new one, and I'll make a new one. And I'm going to call this one internal only for internal calls and now I think this is where it should snap into focus here's where we can call the partitions and we can add them into this calling search space so that means that any phone with the internal only calling search space can call whatever numbers are in the partitions you add in this box right here. So I'm creating a calling search space that has the ability to see the internal numbers. So I'll go ahead and click save. 
Back to my sketch, here's just an illustration of what I did. I have the internal only calling search space and inside it, the only thing that it can see is the internal partition. So it has access to all of those numbers inside of there. So it is demonstration time. So even though I set up a calling search space and I have two numbers, both in the internal partition, they can't reach each other because a calling search space has not been applied to them. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is 1000 right here, John Doe Jabber 1000. Then over here I have IP communicator 1001. So let me just try calling them. Your call cannot be completed. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Because we have created that calling search space, but we have not applied it to the phone. So where does that get applied? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the calling search space on extension 1000 on this Jabber device. So if I go to phone and click find, here's the Jabber device that we created earlier. I'm going to click the phone and then I'm going to go into the directory number of that phone and then I'm going to come down here to calling search space and I'm gonna apply that calling search space that we created earlier. Internal only. I'm gonna go ahead and click save and apply config. And then I will try calling again. And boom. It's working. So to reinforce this, let's pretend that there's another group of numbers. Let's say it's like, uh, you know, VIPs in the company that you only want some people to be able to call directly. You don't want all your, your employees to be able to call their extension. So what you would do is you would create a partition called VIPs and you would put those numbers in that partition. And you would only put that partition in calling search spaces um, that you would apply to people who you want to have the privileges. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that, that partition right now. Back in call manager, call routing, class of control, partition. Okay, we got our internal. I'm gonna add a new one called VIP. Now I'm gonna go back to one of my phones here. Let me just add it as a secondary line to the IP communicator. Uh, yeah, the, the IP communicator. Okay, quick note, I actually had to change the phone button template so that I could add lines. Only one line is available by default. You might have to create a custom one. Maybe I'll cover that in another video. In any case, I'm gonna go to line two, add a new DN. And for the partition, I'm gonna choose VIP and let's just do 7777. And just say VIP. Oh, we gotta change that to VIP again. We'll call it V. Wow, it's refreshing like crazy. VIP 7777. I'll quick just set this up. We'll give it the internal only calling search space. You don't really have to fill this out, but I'm just going to. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click save. So now we have 777 in the internal, or in the VIP. And I'm gonna apply the config. Okay, go. And, let me exit that. and I can see I have the secondary line on there. So now, if I go back into my, um, Cisco Jabber, and I try calling that number. Your call cannot be completed. It's not going to work. It's not going to ring. Your That's because that partition is not in the calling search space, so it doesn't even see that number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new calling search space with internal and VIP access. So I'll go back to call routing, class of control, calling search space. And I'll call this one VIP internal and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add internal and VIP so now it can see all the numbers in both of those partitions 
I'll go ahead and click save. Then I'm going to go back to the directory number on my Jabber device. So I'll go to device, phone, find. Here's that Jabber device. 1000 in inter internal. Under directory number settings, we'll see call in search space. I'm going to change that to VIP internal. Click save. Apply config. OK. And now when I call, it rings. So the picture should be starting to get kind of clear here. And I think that's probably enough for this video. But if we go back to the document that I made, you'll see that you're going to want to make some other partitions as well. Um, and for these ones, we're going to put in some interesting looking things. Um, these have some wildcard digits. So, for example, this one is going to cover all of your local calls. So when you dial 9 to get out, and then a seven digit number, it's gonna route that call out your voice gateway. And same thing, same story for long distance and international. And those numbers will be put into partitions, um, but they're gonna be a little bit different. They're gonna be called route patterns, and they're gonna be associated with some route lists and route groups, and then um, which will send the call out our gateways, um, whether that's a PRI or a SIP trunk or um, a, a POTS line. Um, but those are a little bit different. I think this is a good place to stop, and I can cover those uh, route patterns, route lists, hunt lists, and voice gateways in uh, further videos as this series progresses. I hope that this makes... Um, partitions and calling search spaces and class of control uh, pretty clear. If not, let me know in the comments um, and maybe I'll remake the video if it's not clear. Let me know whatever questions you have. If you did like the video and this helped you, please like and subscribe and um, that will help me to keep creating more videos. Thanks so much for watching.